Hey, I'm Victoria Miller. I'm a third year physical therapy student at Elon University. Today I'm going to talk about an article titled Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation Improves Low Back Pain During Pregnancy. It was written by Keskin et al. and uh, published in 2012. It's got an evidence level of two. It focused on women who have low back pain. The women who are pregnant and 32 weeks or farther along in their pregnancy who have low back pain or have developed low back pain during their pregnancy but have not had any history of any previous lumbar pathology that could have caused the pain. In the article, they compared three, four treatments, a control, an acetaminophen group, an exercise group, and a TENS group. And TENS group, they used a portable dual channel machine with four or five centimeter squared electrodes. They set it on continuous with a frequency of 120 hertz and a pulse duration of 100 microseconds. Women were treated twice a week for three weeks for a total of six treatments, and they found that their pain was reduced after the three weeks that reduced them three points on the VAS scale. So today I have Sabrina here to model for us, and some of the things the article did not cover was electrode placement and duration of treatment. So I'm going to have Sabrina go ahead and lay down for me. And we're going to imagine that her pain is in this area. So, and so in the article they didn't talk about electrode placement, but we're just going to bracket the pain. And we also don't have the same size electrodes, but for demonstration purposes this will suffice. So I'm just going to bracket the pain. So the article did not talk about treatment duration time, but I would suggest starting at 20 minutes and then work your way up from there. I think 20 minutes is a good starting point. I have my machine already preset. I'm using an MB machine, but I'm using all the parameters that I discussed and had written on the board. All right. So I'm going to turn this machine on, and you want the Sensation to be two to three times above the sensory threshold, but you don't want a muscle contraction. So all my presets are already entered into the machine. I'm going to turn it on, and Sabrina, I want you to let me know when you feel something. Okay. All right, I want you to let me know when it's comfortable, but I don't want any muscle contraction, so I'll make sure we don't get one. Okay, I'll feel it. So I would just let this sit on her back for about 20 minutes and as the article suggested that after six treatments of, and two times a week for three weeks that the patients did have a decreased three points in the VAS scale. If I had to make a personal decision based on this single article, I would try to use, I would use TENS in the clinic on patients who had experienced lumbar pain while being pregnant. I definitely would make sure everything is safe with the baby. and. The doctor has okayed that, and I would also educate the patient to make sure she's very comfortable with TENS to make sure that she knows the indications and the precautions so she feels comfortable with the treatment. And then after the 20 minutes is over, I would just turn it off. six treatments, most patients have a decrease in pain. So I definitely would give this a try on patients who are pregnant with lumbar pain. Thanks.